Hi everyone, it's Tawanda from Little Unzo, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this for your online store or online catalog or any other platform you use to sell your products. So let's get started. Alright, now that we've opened up GIMP, we're going to go to File, New, and then I'm going to use these dimensions here, 1000 by 1000. And as always, I like to start off a new canvas with a transparent background. Click OK. Now we're going to drag and drop this image right here. That's the image we're going to be using. Right, so first thing is we're going to need to scale that. Let's scale that. You can go ahead and use the color selection tool to remove that blue background there, or you can always go with the paths. I'm gonna go with the color selection tool. Press delete. If you're not quite sure how to remove a background from an image, we have a tutorial on that where we show you three techniques you can use to remove any background from an image in GIMP. I'll have a link to that in the description below. Select none. And then in my case, in this case, I don't like seeing this boundary there. So I'm going to go view and then uncheck show layer boundary. Now we're going to create a new layer. Click OK. Select the bucket tool. And we have the new layer selected right there at the top. Select, click at that section there. Drag and drop that layer below the image. Select the move tool and let's just try position our image right about there. Right now we go again. Now we create a new layer. This is going to be the layer we're going to use for to create that outer circle with the fill on the inside where the text is going to be sitting. So for that, I'm going to be using this shade of blue here HTML notation 071058. Click OK and then select the ellipse tool. Click and drag while pressing shift for a perfect circle. That size should be fine. We're going to go ahead and right click in there, edit, fill with foreground color. Right click, select none. Now we create a new layer again using the same ellipse tool. Click and drag. Now for this layer, I'm going to bring back white to the top. Right click, edit, and then stroke selection. I'm going to stroke it with the width of 5. So I'm going to go ahead and click stroke. Right click, select none. Select the move tool and position that layer. Right about there should be fine. Now you can leave it like this if you want, or you can do this. Right click on the top layer, merge down, select the select by color tool, click in the blue section there, right click, select, invert, and delete. So what we've essentially done here is delete that entire uh, white stroke that was on the inside there right click select none this of course is an option you can do that if you want or you can just skip it and leave the white line there right let's position that and then reduce the transparency i'm going to put it at 95 percent like that now the next step is to select the text tool And then I'm going to put a price. If you want, you can put a description, but I'm just going to go ahead and put the price. Of course, you can use the font of your choice. All right, and then now I can add the final text layer. I'll just 
so that it reads three dollars fifty each. Right, like that. So now, since you're going to be posting this image on your social media platform or your catalog, your online catalog, it's always wise to put your logo there so that people can easily identify the product and associate it with your brand. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do next. We're going to add a breakfast basket logo at the top left corner. So we're going to drag and drop that there. And then we're going to scale it down. That size should be okay. And we position it there. Of course, you can position it, you can place it anywhere, anywhere you think will work for you. Click scale once you're okay with the size. Like that. Now, the next step isn't mandatory. Again, it's up to you, completely up to you. But you can always go ahead and add a watermark onto your image. Just so you protect it then avoid cases where someone is going to steal your product or steal your image or something you've worked on and designed and use it to their own benefit so we're going to go back and open that logo file drag and drop or we could have just duplicated the one we've already placed at the top left corner there you could easily duplicate that there or drag and drop another logo position it and reduce transparency. I'm going to put that at 25%. Like that. So again, this can be the complete thing. This can be all it takes or all you need. But if you feel you want the image to be bolder and to stand out, you can always again duplicate the image layer. Right click, duplicate. That's one. Right click. Duplicate, that's two, and then we adjust the positions for each of those so that they're visible. First of all, first of all, we're going to remove the visibility. Click and drag that to the left there. Go to the second image or the middle, the one in the middle. Click and drag. And then the top image, click and drag. So to add a little bit of depth in your on your image or on your design, you can select the top image, go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And then I'm going to go ahead and increase the opacity just to add a little bit of depth like I mentioned. Click OK. And I think I'm going to do it for this one here, right at the back there, on the right, right side. Should be this one, yeah. Filters, you can select, you can read, you can select to repeat the drop shadow, or you can create a totally different one. And that's, I'll just go ahead and repeat that. Like that. So basically, that's it. That's how you can edit your image for your online store, your catalog, or any other social media platform you're going to be posting it on. It's always I always recommend that whenever you're doing this, you do not merge down the layers. You keep them as they are so that you can easily remove the product images like these ones here and drop another image there. So again, as always, if you like this tutorial and you find it helpful and useful, don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.